305 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Julie Sampson, and Julie is going to tell us about a fascinating collaboration between the Spirit of Entrepreneurship uh, Foundation and the Scheinfeld Center. Welcome, Julie. We're so glad you're here. Thank you, Cinder. It's a pleasure to be here. And you know, I have always um, been fascinated by this collaboration that you have, and you're involved with both of them. So please tell us what's happening. Yes, okay, so uh, you know, these days nothing happens without collaboration. And what w uh, the two organizations involved in this collaboration to support entrepreneur entrepreneurial development mm -hmm. in our region, it's the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation on the one hand and the Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation oh, okay. at Santa Barbara City College. So the way this collaboration works is unique. The Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation hosts an event. It's called the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Awards mm -hmm. Dinner. And this dinner, at this dinner, uh, um, female entrepreneurs from Ventura and Santa Barbara County. Oh, from both uh, counties. Yeah, from both okay. counties are recognized outstanding uh, women entrepreneurs for their contributions. And at the event, at the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Awards dinner, the proceeds from that event uh, go to seed money for students, uh, the finalists in the New Venture Challenge Business Plan and Pitch Competition mm. hosted by the Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation at Santa Barbara City College. Wow. So the first, second, and third place winners of the competition, both at the collegiate and the high school level, receive cash awards mm. as well as scholarship opportunities. And those are available because of this collaboration with the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation. Wow, you know, and what a, what a concept, really. You're yes. right, collaboration is everywhere, but this is very unique. Yes, it is. Um, you know, with the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation, uh, the way it works is that uh, um, the foundation accepts nominations each year okay. for the award in 11 different industry categories. Wow. And those nominations are sent out to individual judges outside of our region, and they determine who the winners are um, within those 11 categories. And oh. so uh, everybody, all the nominees, as well as friends, family, and our community, uh, come to the awards dinner, mm -hmm. and it's not until the envelope is handed over mm -hmm. to the MC that we know who won from all of those entrepreneurs that entered. So it's really fun that way. And then also, the winners of the New Venture Challenge, the first, second, and third place winners mm -hmm. at both the collegiate and the high school level um, are also recognized at mm -hmm. the event, and that's where they receive their awards. You know, I have been to that award dinner many times, yeah. and it's always so inspiring. It's so inspiring. And so diverse. Yes. So many different stories and businesses and everything. It's just uh, quite something. It's really something. And, you know, it's so good for our student entrepreneurs yes. to get into the spotlight and to be shoulder to shoulder yeah. with these inspiring women entrepreneurs. Now, both male and female um, 
uh, entrants are accepted into the new venture challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, it, there can be both male and female student entrepreneurs there, but it doesn't it doesn't matter both ways. They're very inspired by seeing what these women have accomplished, and and plus, it isn't just the the women who won the awards there. We invite the entire community to come. Oh, yes, so yes. all entrepreneurs from all walks of life, friends, family, you know, everybody is welcome to join us at the both the New Venture Challenge and the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation Awards Dinner. And so that's coming right up. And so tell us, uh, I would imagine that you've got opportunities for people to sponsor, maybe to buy tables. Tell us how all that works. Okay, so the first thing that happens is the New Venture Challenge Business Plan and Pitch Competition. Mm -hmm. So that's held on April 27th. Okay. And uh, um, the entries for that are due by, the business plans are due by April 19th. Mm -hmm. um, and then after the winners are recognized from the New Venture Challenge, mm -hmm. Um, they attend the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Awards Dinner, which is on May 4th. May 4th. May 4th. So that's Friday, May 4th. It's from 5.30 to 8.30 okay. at the um, former Fess Parker Resort, which is now the Beachfront Resort. Okay. And it's a very elegant um, dinner. And yeah, so th um, th the uh, that's where the winners of the the women entrepreneurs who are the winners will also be and the winners will be announced and um, yeah they walk away with their awards there now something that I should say is that there's a very special award uh, that is our women's rock star lifetime achievement oh, award yes, yes. yes and so so every year uh, an outstanding entrepreneur um, from our community, woman entrepreneur, is uh, given that award. And this year, um, it has been announced that the recipient is Lady Leslie Ridley Tree, yes. as who we know is a fabulous uh, philanthropist yes. in our community, and um, also at 93 years old is running a global aircraft yes. parts company. Right? So it's so inspiring. Yeah, it is inspiring. You know? Yeah. She drives down to her office in LA several times a week yes yes she's, she's in the office working woman. yes Great very choice. much so right yeah we're so excited and so she will receive her award there that's great yeah it'll be it'll be worth it just to hear her story exactly exactly and so all right so this award dinner happening on May 4th yes is the big fundraiser yes which enables you to really do the work that you're doing with these not just women but student you, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. Yeah. right, right. Yes, you know, the, the um, proceeds from this event serve as the seed money for the students for next year. Okay. Yeah, so, um, you know, we, this is our eighth annual New Venture eight Challenge years, and um, awards dinner. So, you know, we have quite a bit of um, celebration that we've done of our entrepreneurs and also the uh, collaboration has helped so many student entrepreneurs, yes. right? Because there are uh, 10 finalists both at the collegiate level and 10, ten finalists oh. at the high school level. So, I mean, 20 student entrepreneurs per year, you know, and then, uh, you know, 11 categories of women entrepreneurs are recognized, right? So it's great. So it's good. It's a good support to our community, right? A little bit of celebration yeah. is always good, you know? Yeah. And you know, I think if I were a business person, I would want my name and my business aligned or associated with this event. And so I'd want to go to your website and you know, be a sponsor or donate or, so a person can do that. Just go to your website and hit the donate now button. <laughs> Absolutely. So with the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Awards Dinner, uh, you can go to the SOEfoundation.org website okay. and uh, uh, 
people in the community can sponsor a table. There's advertisement space for mm. purchase. Oh, good. Um, so there's a lot of ways to get involved there, and we'd love to have an, an, our entire community show up for the oh, event. Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, from, uh, so the event is 5.30 to 8.30, but from 5.30 to 6.30, um, the attendees are at a reception where they can experience our student entrepreneur startup showcase. That's where Ooh. all of the finalists uh, come and demonstrate their products and services. And so it's just a really fun way to see all of that in ingenuity, innovation, and entrepreneurial spirit that our students bring forth. And these are, you know, these, rep these students represent our entrepreneurs of tomorrow. So it's yes. really nice to give them some support to keep on going. Wow. That is so great. And so I'll bet, now you've been involved with this for a while, haven't you? Yes, so um, I've been executive director since 2014 at uh, the Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and Innovation, and I became a board member of the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation at that time. And this whole collaboration started with the founder of the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation, Kathy, Kathy Feldman. Feldman in uh, collaboration with our former executive director at the Scheinfeld Center, who is Melissa Moreno. So yes, yes, it's, um, yes. it's really the brainchild of those two, and oh it's, it's great that here we are eight years later, yeah. still continuing. And yeah. impacting so many lives. Yes, so much. You know, I, I think it isn't just the students that are involved, it serves to inspire everybody who attends. Yes, yes. Right? Yep. And so, You've been there for a few years now, and I'll bet you have a story or two you could tell us about lives who have been that have been impacted. Yes, very much so. So, um, in terms of the students, uh, you know what's really great is that we honor the achievements of um, students from all walks of life, mm -hmm. you know, and um, all types of entrepreneurial ideas. So, for instance, um, an example. Uh, from last year is a entrant, her name was Sylvia Comer, mm -hmm. and her business is Casa, Casa de Comer, mm -hmm. it's a salsa company. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's so great about this is uh, she was the entrant, but it's an entire family that's involved with bringing this concept forward. And oh, it, it okay. is the best salsa one has ever tasted. We hear that all the time when people take taste the salsa. So that's an idea. It's very fun. It's a family, yeah. you know, endeavor. Oh, and good. so on another spectrum, uh, I could talk about John Harmon, mm -hmm. who is um, the founder of Oil Slick Beach Tar rem Remover. Okay. It's an eco-friendly green non-toxic beach tar remover that's so relevant, especially here with the large oil seeps that we have. And uh, yeah, so he brought that concept forward uh, several years ago. He won the New Venture Challenge mm. in 2015. He has, he has brought that concept forward and he's evolved it. I can't really give you the concept that he's moving on to, but he has expanded it. Oh, great. And what's so fun is he comes back now and mentors other oh. entrepreneurs, you know? Oh, great. And um, so that's an example of how it's touched the students' lives. So. Gosh, Julie. Okay, well, you know, we're about out of time, but I want to just uh, say it again. May 4th. Yes, May 4th. The Spirit of Entrepreneur, the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Foundation's uh -huh. award dinner. Um, it's at the Beachfront Hotel, which is formerly the Fess Parker, yes. and uh, starts at 5:30 um, for the startup showcase. The dinner itself uh, uh -huh. starts at 6:30, and go to soefoundation.org for tick tickets and sponsorship. Perfect. Great. Well. Okay. And can I say one more yes, thing? Yes, yes. And attend the uh, New Venture Challenge, the Scheinfeld Center's New Venture Challenge on April 27th. Oh, yes. Yeah, and that is at Santa Barbara City College. And people can go to scheinfeld.sbcc.edu and learn all about that event. Good. That's great. Mm -hmm. Julie, thank you so much for being with us. And thanks for all of your fabulous work. You're welcome, Cinder. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.